we have very few investments in the U.S. because we think that the U.S. yield curve has been manipulated for actually very, very good reasons because we wanted to have a recovery. Uh, most of the securities that we own are actually outside the U.S. The, the market, that, the place that we have the, the largest position is in Mexico. Uh, 20 to 30 year bonds there have a 6.5% yield. Uh, with inflation, it's not much higher than it is here in the U.S. And with a president who is, is a supply side economic strategy, and we think that those bonds are very, very attractive, along with bonds in other international markets. We think Bernanke has been extraordinarily successful. And what's happening, as long as you have a gradual rise in interest rates, things are going to be fine. If I was here last year and I told you long-term interest rates are going to be up almost 1%, you would have probably said, oh my God, what's going to happen to the real estate market? What's going to happen to the um, stock market? Well, what's happened, it's been very gradual. Interest rates are up 100%, or up 100 basis points almost in the long end, and the stock market's all, it's all time highs. You know, you look at um, the real estate market, very, very strong. That market has been corrected. And so I just think that we are in what I would say the natural order of things. The economy's in fairly good shape, interest rates are extraordinarily low, and then interest rates are just going to gradually go up because that's what happens at this point in the business cycle. So I think that a lot of investors uh, have gotten into this hedge fund routine where they're managing money for the day or the week. We have long-term holding periods. So when we look at the world, we just look at it and say, we, the central banks know what they're doing. They want asset prices up. They want to have global growth. And you can bet against them. People have probably bet against them in the last couple of days. But I just look at it and say, it seems to me like, as I go back to the word, the natural order things. In fact, I would argue that some of the central bankers even wanted the equity markets to uh, you know, have a little bit of a shakeout in here because maybe they've been too strong. And they don't want to get asset prices up too much where you get in a major correction. So when I look at the world, I think that it's uh, you know, just rebalancing. And I think it's rebalancing for the good over the next three to five years. What keeps me up at night is the, just quite honestly, is uh, the lack of leadership from the political scene. I mean, politicians are elected to increase spending or maintain the status quo. And what really keeps me up at night is the fact that they do need to address these long-term structural issues. And I just hope, as I say, we've seen it in Japan. I surely heck, it would be great if we would see it maybe in the U.S. where we actually I see it over in Europe. But I think that is the um, it's a fly in the ointment today, but it's actually something that could uh, create a lot of good you know, market activity for the future if these guys get it right. And it's really done under the, some supply side uh, agenda rather than something that's going to support even a bigger government. So that's really the thing would just be the political class. They just don't get it.